Hello, this is Matthew Miller from the ZDNet Smartphones and Cell Phones blog. I'm going to give you a little walkthrough of documents to go from DataViz on the T-Mobile G1. Um, this is my Google Android phone that uh, I've been using since last October. And I've recently gone back to it because it's really a fabulous, um, fabulous device with a lot of uh, pros and a few cons. So as you can see there on my desktop is the documents to go icon. Go ahead and launch that, and I'm going to turn off the overhead light so we get a better view, I think, of the application. So here we go. This is the main launch screen, and at this time, you'll see there's Word to Go, Sheet to Go. Uh, they said that they are coming out with the ability to view PDFs and also work with PowerPoint files within the next few weeks. And that will be a free update to all of you who buy this through the Android market. Available now for introductory price of $20, normal price of $30. And as you'll see here in my review and in this video, I think it's well worth the $20 or $30. Uh, so down at the bottom, if you were to tap give us feedback, it'll open up a form in the web browser. Check for updates will also open up the web browser, see if there's any updates. I actually just updated it. If we go to the About page, it will show you... Um, what version I'm on, 1.002. So, the meat of it is Word to Go or Sheet to Go. Let's just go ahead and tap on Word to Go. And you can open a file or create a new document. And then recently used documents will appear down below. So let's just create a new document. Now this device that I have is running the 1.5 update. And the Documents to Go application has been updated to support this because you can see in portrait mode with my keyboard closed, there's a little icon down on the bottom. If I was to tap that, it'll bring up the on screen keyboard. Okay, if I push the back arrow, it'll go away. Now, if I am to switch into landscape mode, the small on screen keyboard disappears and lets me enter text right here from the keyboard. Okay. Now let's take a look at the menus that we have available. And if we press the menu button, there's six that you can see on the main screen. File, edit, view, insert, format, and more. So let's just run through these real quick. So if I was to press, I'll go into portrait mode so you can see the menus that are longer. If I press file, I've got uh, several options here. New, open, close, save, save as, and send via email. If I choose send via email, I gotta save it first. Sorry, you get Gmail or Road Sync message. I also have Touchdown on here, which is not supported. Not a big deal because you can uh, always just use an attachment and attach it later. If we go to Edit, see there's Cut, Copy, Paste. Now, if we go back here to actually select something, you can use the Shift and the Trackball, or if you were to press your finger on there and hold. Gives you a little selection mode and a little pencil icon down here, and then you just drag across the word or or whatever you want to do to select the text. Okay, and let's go to view. You can see there's view, select, select all, zoom. See our zoom levels. Table of contents if we have it, comments, footnotes, and endnotes, all viewable if the document and you're looking at has those. Insert has several options, page break, bookmark, hyperlink, table, comment, and if you press like something like comment, it appears down below, you enter it, the MSM, or my initials appear up top in the document itself, and as you can see, there it is, I press that, there's the comment. Okay, for formatting, there's the traditional bold, italic, underline, now if we select font, Several options appear, bold, italic, underline, font, name, I believe there's six fonts included, and on and on. There's plenty of options with uh, formatting your fonts, which is the same as formatting your paragraphs. As you can see here, all of your different spacing before and after, indents, uh, all that kind of thing are there. Almost like a desktop client. If we go into bolts and numbering, we tap here, so you can have bullet, number, outline, 
and in use we go to outline there's different outline formats and when you indent it automatically dynamically will take care of that for you as well and then increase and decrease indent hyperlink enter the text enter the hyperlink and more we go to preferences you can see here's our preferences now we've got options for what kind of files we want to save as you can see it supports the latest Microsoft XML file structure name initials and track changes which is quite unusual for a mobile client I've never seen that before so that's all in the word part of it uh, word to go let's jump into sheet to go real quick as we can see there's our spreadsheet again we've got file new open save save as send meal all the same pretty much edit it's a bit different we've got our edit cell which just jumps to your cell for you viewing has some of the same things except you can have multiple worksheets you can actually freeze the panes which is nice for large spreadsheets format cell if we go into here there's a bunch of cell formatting colors sizes fonts that kind of thing for inserting we can insert rows columns sheets auto sum whatever we'd like if we go to function you'll see actually 111 functions and if we click on here there's different categories that those are organized by okay and we go to more there's actually quite a bit more uh, row and if you select these you can select and hide same with columns preferences again what type of file structure we're going to use initials and file properties kind of gives you the basic stats so as you can see documents to go on the Google Android currently on my T-Mobile G1 is quite a powerful application that's uh, very functional um, when you have attachments come in you can open them with Word and Excel right here on the device and stay tuned for PDF and PowerPoint support coming as well and on top of that I look forward to more Android devices